the economy. I've said that I'm sure no economist, but I've been talking for years. We need a fiscal policy. You can't depend on the Fed to keep this economy going. Well, things have changed. Nobody cares anymore what the Fed's raising interest rates. It's good that they are. Think about savers. Savers can make some money. That means the economy is doing better. The financial institutions can go, can do better, can make things happen, get the juices flowing. That's great. But now we start talking about infrastructure and other, and other things. Number one, we have a real problem. What are we doing taxing imports? All the people who depend on that, you want to, you want to pay three times for your, uh, your TV? Don't let them tell you, all these guys out there, oh, yeah, the dollar is good. It's all going to work out. The dollar is going to go up, and this is going to happen. You're going to be happy. No, you're not. You're going to pay three times the amount for, for the TVs. We talked about this like a year ago. You have three times the amount for the TV. You're going to pay all this extra money for everything. This is when we were talking tariffs. It's not going to work. It just doesn't work. It's a joke. The other thing it's a joke is this, con this economy needs to expand. This economy went nowhere for eight years. It bottomed and stayed there. It kind of blipped a little, blipped down, blipped up, blipped down. It went nowhere. More people got work, but it was jive work. It just wasn't working. Now the animal spirits are starting to roll. People are confident. Why do we sit back and sit here and go, oh yeah, for every dollar we spend, we have to like raise another dollar. What are you talking about? This isn't a house. We write our own dollars. Okay, people want our dollars. They want to put our dollars away because they know the United States stands behind their dollars. They'll buy our bonds. Why are we renegotiating all the bonds we have out there? Why are we selling incredible amount of bonds at these low interest rates? So we lock it in and we can take that money and maybe apply it to infrastructure. Maybe we can apply it to other things. Why do we have to worry that we're paying 59 million extra for, for defense, which really is not major when it comes to the, to the, to the uh, GDP, I'm sorry, the, how big our economy is. It's not that large. Okay, but why do we have to offset 59 million? How crazy is that? 59 million is to protect this country. Where are you coming from, Republicans? Where are you coming from? That's yesterday. We have to get this economy growing. They're all saying, oh man, we can't grow 3% and it wouldn't work out. And every inflation would fly. That's what we got the Fed for. They're finally doing their job. They'll raise interest rates. They can keep it tight. They can keep things kind of some type of a cap and try to keep it under control. And then we can get smart about it. But we got a chance to exit this economy. We have a chance to take off. What are these guys doing saying dollar for dollar? The Republicans are so stuck in 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. These are the same guys who were back during the Depression. They don't think. There's no thoughts there. Guys, we got to, guys, gender neutral. We got to raise this thing. We got to get it moving. And then we can always cut back later. We have to make it happen. Now, quit with the dollar for dollar. Let's raise money through bonds. Let's get the infrastructure going. Let's take care of our military. We get more people moving. We export more. We make more money. Things start growing. We're rocking. This dollar for dollar is an absolute joke. Don't let them tell you about inflation. That's what the Fed's there for, to kind of keep it under control. And today, the problem is inflation. Today, the problem is our economy is still going nowhere. Look at the numbers. They're kind of going, but they're really going nowhere right now. So forget it. Let it roll. Yeah, Mackenzie, and I don't know anything about economy, except I know when things are rocking, you let it go. You got to get it off the bottom. You got to get people back to work. You got to get the kids rocking. You got to get the kids working. You got to get everybody working. Forget it. Get rid of these old, what they used to call them, curmudgeons. They're curmudgeons in the Republican Party, and some Democrats, too, where they're coming up with this stuff. They're talking like Republicans, too. What is going on here? Let's get this economy rolling. Pump the cash out. Let's get it moving. Let's renegotiate. Let's get our debt down. Let's issue new debt at this number. So when the numbers are 4 and 5%, we're laughing because we're paying half that, and our economy is exploding. I love it here, though. Peace.